if Jesus, if Jesus was to give us a signal when he was set to do great and awesome and mighty things, then we would have been excused to think we can interpret the times. But truly he is sovereign and um, he is almighty. You, you will not understand how almighty he is because we have spent so much time looking at the mountains that stand before us. He is the only one that can decree a thing and bring it to pass. He is the one that promises that the mountains will drop dew and honey and they would sing for joy. Those same things that hindered us will sing and bow before him. He is the one that decree, declares that the oceans don't frighten him because he set a boundary for them and he said to them, you can go this far but no further. He's the one that hung on the cross and the sun shut his eyes and said, I cannot look at the one that made me. And the moon had no light to, shoot, to, to reflect. And the earth itself quaked and broke open. He, he, he is the Almighty. When they call him the Almighty, we don't understand it because in our humanity, there are so many things we cannot do. But with him, the word impossible is just the beginning of our adventure. It's the beginning of an adventure. And so, so you need to worship him. You need to understand that God, God will be shifting mountains just in the midst of simple worship, simple worship, very simple worship. And, and, and he would be moving mountains. He'd be moving what the doctor said was impossible. He would be moving what man says cannot be changed. He would be moving what man has given up on. We have seen him do it so many times. And you don't even know, need to know when he will do it. He doesn't need to anesthetize you to take to undertake any surgical operations in your life. He doesn't need to give you to, to, to put you to sleep to do that. You don't even need to feel when his hands go into your body to shift things out of their place. No, 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 no. He takes away habits that have become strongholds. He kills them and breaks them in a second, in just a moment of understanding. So the spirit of revelation is here. Understanding is here. Grace is here. Because Hallelujah. when worship ascends, the heavens are Thank torn. You, so I want you to give him praise. Thank you, Lord. Bless him. Bless him. Just bless him. Thank you, Lord. I said bless him. Hallelujah. Just bless him. Hallelujah. Glory, 
you intend or desire to see if you look at your circumstances you'll be shut down but if you look at the Lord you'll have a reason for hope he'll put a brand new song in your heart and you know gentlemen every creature produces after its kind dogs produce after their kind chickens produce after their kind monkeys produce after their kind no monkey has ever produced a man everyone produces after his kind Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. And the second thing I want to let you know is every kind has a characteristic that is peculiar and specific to it. Dogs have little tails that they wag. Cats have whiskers. And every time you look at a cat, you can see it. Birds have wings, they fly with them. And so man also walks on his two legs and two hands. But again, more importantly, every kind has a voice dogs will bark and dogs don't go to school to learn how to bark bark lions roar 
and they don't need to go to school to learn how to roar but also men speak but God has a voice and Abraham found that voice in Romans chapter 4 he said it is God who calls those things that be not as though they were so tonight you can see situations and call them what God calls them the darkness presented itself in Genesis chapter 1 but God refused to call it darkness he called it light Paul sat down and took a log and put it in the fire so he could get more heat to warm himself and a snake jumped out of there and fastened its teeth on his hands and said we are going to die together and Saul, Saul didn't even answer it he threw it back in the fire where it belonged and he continued to be warmed so it, it depends on what you call your situation tonight if you look with the eyes of God you will call your situation life and although everything around you speaks of death yet you will see life and I charge you I beg you in the name of Jesus look through the eyes of God he's holy he's almighty hallelujah